We're gonna start with a feaster pass. And if you want, you can give me a reason why. And if you're, if you're, if it's just a, a black and white answer, we can move on. But uh, foie gras, feast or pass? Foie gras. Uh, that's like the the liver stuff, the stuffed liver thing, right? Yeah, it's fatty duck liver, sometimes goose, but it's 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 polarizing because it's delicious. It's like animal butter, but they force feed the duck, so it's kind of problematic. I think I've had it, and I think it was delicious, and it is problematic. But like, if somebody put it in front of me, I would I would feast. Hell yeah, that's what's up. What about uh, I recently posted on my Instagram Upper Feast uh, a spicy chicken sandwich with vanilla ice cream on top. Feast or pass? Spicy chicken sandwich with vanilla ice cream on top? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go pass on that one. That sounds a little too conflicting for me. I, I like the sweet and salty thing. But that's aggressive. Yeah, it is. I mean, the thing is, is like if they would have used like a, a tablespoon of ice cream, it would have been delicious. But they put like a whole serving of ice cream on there. Is this uh -huh. dessert? Is this food? What is going on? Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised I'm alive after I ate it. <laughs> My heart just didn't explode or whatever. But, um, now this one, I, I know your answer, but uh, just vegan food in general. I feel like that's a polarizing one. Vegan food, feast or pass? Uh, again, a, a little polarizing. I, it is feast for me. I will always eat vegan food. I don't think I could eat just a vegan lifestyle, you know, like I, I love eggs and I do consume fish and cheese and Jeez, ice cream. Yes. And <laughs> um, you know, my my diet is uh, eat food, not a lot, mostly plants. So I can get behind veganism, but I, I'm not like strictly vegan. I love how like that shows how healthy you are that you opened with eggs and fish. Whereas <laughs> I can never be vegan because of ice cream and cheese and just dairy. Consume it. Shut I eat pizza too. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, being that you are a little healthier, uh, fast food, feast or pass? Um, uh, pass as often as I can. Again, one of those where I'll, I'll eat it, like if, if we're on a road trip or something, there's like a, I'd rather eat Subway, I think, than like McDonald's. But, you know, I, I can't say no to a good, uh, a good juicy burger from like Whataburger now and again. Fair enough. And you know, what's funny is that's exactly how I am. Like I never eat McDonald's. But if I'm on a road trip and the options are like Speedway chips or McDonald's, I'll, I'll get some McDonald's. Hell yeah. um, <laughs> did you see on Reddit where in Ireland they can't call Subway's bread bread? Because it's so sugary, right? Yeah, it has too much sugar. I, so I did see this. It it's bread. got so much sugar that it's technically not bread. And I'm like, what does that mean? I heard there's like yoga mats in it and stuff. I don't know. It's <laughs> <laughs> Um. So speaking of Reddit, I, I know you're a big Redditor. Um, do you have any unpopular food opinions? You know, I was, I was brainstorming about this. Um, I'll tell you what, pause real quick. I, I, pause. I think it's just reading. Okay, ready, go. Yep. Oh. We'll, fix it. we'll fix it in post, don't worry. The, the post. Never even know about it. Uh, unpopular food opinions. Okay, yeah, so I, I wrote down a bunch. Um, I am not the biggest fan of pizza crust, which I think is unconventional because people always give me shit about not eating my crust, you know? Fair enough. And I, I struggle to justify pizza itself sometimes, you know, it, it's good, but like it is, you know, it's heavy. <laughs> And I, the, the crust itself is usually just like, you know, just a little extra carbs without too much to it. Um, That's why Pizza Hut put the mozzarella in the crust. They couldn't get people to eat the crust, so. What? Oh they my goodness. That's, that's decadent. <laughs> Wait, have you not heard of cheese stuffed crust? No, is that a thing? <laughs> yeah, man, it's totally a thing. They put little uh, mozzarella sticks in the crust. I live under a rock. I don't know if you knew this. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know if this counts, but I take apple cider vinegar shots every day. Helps with the old digestion and uh, makes the people around me go, what? Oh, God, why are you doing this? And I'm standing there going, it's really, oh, it's really good. Oh, Jesus, for you, it's so good. Ah, you know? It's like a shot of liquor. I, my sister gave me a shot of that once and it like burnt my throat like it was. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, this, this has to be good for you based on how much I am in pain. Right. I'd rather just chug some ranch dressing or something. This 
<laughs> sippy sippy. <laughs> um, and I'm a big fan of uh, of cow tongue. Cow tongue. Uh, I love cow tongue. What, what's the first time you had it? Like on a taco or what? I, I think if you had asked me as a kid what my favorite meal was, I would have said cow tongue. And I think it's, be, I, I remember having it sort of uh, barbecue, like barbecue at the table, Korean barbecue style where they like cooked it up right in front of you. And there was just some transformative meal as a kid where they like cooked it up just right. And it was like sauced right. And uh, for years I told people my favorite meal is cow tongue. And everyone's like, what the hell is wrong with this kid? <laughs> You're the coolest little kid ever. That's amazing. <laughs> so do you have, um, I know, do you have like a best dining experience that comes to mind? I'm sure you have tons of them, but just like one or two. Uh, I, I was going through my, my brain box last night, sifting through the old memories. Um, and I, I, two, two came to mind. Uh, one was I had the chance with a uh, then business partner, like my, my soon to be boss, took me to Morimoto's sushi restaurant in New York City. Amazing. Um, it was, it was transformative. You know, it was, we did the full tasting menu with like the full wine and sake pairing. So everything is just like, it's small bites, but it's like 13 courses or whatever with little sips. And you take a sniff of this and you take a lick of this and you like plug your right ear and then you <laughs> lick this again and then take a sip of your wine. And it, I, I mean, I've never really like appreciated the foodie thing, but that night was, I mean, it was amazing. That's really and then and hold on, hold on, let's not skip ahead. So I, I imagine that since your boss was paying for it, that amazing meal tasted a little better, right? So uh, the, the bill did come for the two of us. <laughs> and uh, when I saw it, I asked um, if he wanted to start running first or if I should start running first. It's like a month's rent in some places. For the two of us, the bill was $850 before the tip. Oh my goodness, dude. And it better be transformative for that price. But I bet it's worth it. You get what you pay for. As you said, luckily I was not paying. So it, it uh, uh, he put it on the company card and they were unamused. See, now for me, like I've had really expensive, fancy things. And for me, for example, if I spend $100 on sushi, which is still pretty expensive for most people, I don't think that your sushi experience was eight times better, but maybe it was. I, I've never been there. Like, do you think it's, would you say it's eight times better than like an average uh, sushi meal? I don't think eight times, maybe three times, you know, it, it was good. I mean, like I said, it was one of the best dining experiences of my whole life. Like, I, th I mean, the wine is measured out. So you've got like just the, the three ounce that you're allowed or whatever. And at one point, one of our courses, like, took a little too long to come out so I like drank my little sip of wine already and he like gingerly refilled just a little bit of it and he was real apologetic and I can't imagine the kind of clientele the waiter has to deal with with a place like that. Was it stuffy um, in there or did it feel like weirdly chill and relaxed? It was, it was groovy it was hit you know uh there are a lot of guys in there flexing business wise and date wise and in stuff. a black card fancy suits the whole nine my boss and I are wearing like shorts and sneakers, you know, because we've been <laughs> running around doing projects in New York. So we're very underdressed compared to the uh, Louis Vuitton around us, you know. That's a flex in and of itself, though. Like if you're, they probably <laughs> thought you were famous. They're like, oh, this guy must be an actor. He's handsome. He's wearing shorts. <laughs> <laughs> probably from Silicon Valley or something one of those guys <laughs> yeah, like, I remember one time my cousin Isaiah and I went to get some food and thankfully it was free it was like an upper feast thing and we showed up I was wearing Nike sweatpants and a Nike hoodie and my cousin Isaiah was wearing the same exact outfit not same colors we weren't coordinated but um just super chill hoodies and Isaiah was like man I feel weird everyone's so fancy and he was like dude they're paying like suckers we're doing it for free like we win. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> um, Is this, and you're like recording with your light and stuff too. So you're oh, like, I'm like yeah. those guys in the corner. No. Uh, <laughs> let me just put a bag over my head so I don't see the guy with the light. Uh. Dude, one time on the Upper West Side, I was at a pizza shop. And I don't know if you remember me telling you this, but we'll let the folks at home know. This lady was like, sir, well, actually, she called me ma'am, full disclosure. She called me ma'am. And I was like, well, I'm a dude. Like I have a high voice. <laughs> yeah. So she goes, she goes, ma'am. And I'm like, oh, I'm a man. I have a high voice. And then she goes, sir, turn off your light. You're ruining my experience. And so like, I looked and there was no way she could possibly see it. So she gets the manager over, but the manager invited me to come. So 
the manager's like, I'm sorry, miss. He's a, he's a foodie. Uh, we invited him for Instagram and it just felt so good. But then she literally put her linen over her head and she was just making such a scene. It was so dramatic, like stereotypical Upper West Side madness. It was nuts. You're a heathen and you, I mean, she's probably scarred to this day. <laughs> um, now, what about another, do you have another great dining experience? I know you were going to say another one, but I kind of cut you I off. I do, there. I do. It's, it's an oddball one. So I, I, I figure I'd give you a, kind of a range. Uh, so back in the day, a couple of years back, I'm backpacking around Thailand with some cool buddies, Edgar and Will. Uh, one of those days in, in Thailand, we, Will and I decided to take a day long boat tour kind of around Phang Nga Bay and around the cool islands and we were gonna go swimming and we were gonna paddle some kayaks through some caves and all kinds of groovy stuff. Uh, so naturally that was the ideal day to take the LSD that I brought with me. Oh, God. So we got all situated, got our sunscreen on, got our uh, life vests on and I dropped that acid, you know, and we started cruising around and it was a good decision. On the boat, uh, they provided lunch and they cooked it up on the boat like the, the downstairs of the boat was like a whole kitchen area kind of one of those big boxy uh, houseboat looking things you know uh and they cooked up this meal that in my uh acid addled state i was a little like hesitant to eat you know i wasn't really feeling hungry or whatever but will luckily is like well first of all you have to eat this is gonna be a long ass day and like and second of all this meal is incredible so they laid out a tr spread of like build your own plate with I mean, it was meats with sauces and rice and veggies and a kind of stir fry stuff. I don't even know what all was in there. I don't even know half the ingredients, but it was to this day, one of the best meals I've ever had. And I don't know if it's just because the ingredients were so damn fresh, if it's because they made it downstairs, if they just used the right blend of spices, if it was, it paired well with LSD, you know, I, I don't know if you can say that on a menu, but, uh, it, it to this day, like I remember the flavors, I remember the sensations in my mouth, the mouth feel, you know. Ooh. Now I'm picturing like a small little like shanty boat. Was this like a fancy boat or like kind of like a sketchy boat? No, you're totally right. Totally sketchy boat. Totally like uh, like touristy, trappy sort of tour guides, you know, who are uh, hustling us with like bar tricks and trivia, you know. Um, That's awesome. But the views are probably amazing, right? You're out on a river, just floating, chilling. <sighs> incredible i mean with or without uh, uh hallucinogen pumping through my veins it was an incredible trip you know that's amazing hey pun intended huh incredible trip hey hey achi, machi. 